Hey guys, what's up? It's your host Reaper001. So glad I can chat with y'all today. I'm so excited. I've never been to any conventions before, cosplayed. Well, I just came back from Anime Fest um, yesterday. I could have gone today because it was a th um, three day event, but I didn't go because, well, frankly, if I did today, I would have spent a lot more money than I already have. So, yeah. But anyway, yeah, uh, Anime Fest took place in um, downtown Dallas at the Sheraton Hotel. And my friend, Dallas Fangirl, yay! Some of y'all might have heard of her. She's very awesome and she does some wicked cosplay. Um, first day we went, she dressed up as um, <clears throat> Josie and the Pussycats with Crystal Star. Check out her channel as well. And um, her friend Jessica. And they were so cool. They were like the highlight of everyone's day. Everybody would stop and take pictures of them. And I'll make sure to include some pictures. Um, and then the second day, um, she crossplayed um, Sailor Megara, so pretty much like Sailor Moon, and Meg from Hercules. It was freaking awesome. It, I was just so jelly. <laughs> Love you, Laura. But anyway, so I just wanted to show you a couple things that I got from Anime Fest um, before we continue on with um, this video. So let me just show you real quick what I got from day one. Which I know it's from some of y'all. And mainly the guys aren't really going to care for this too much, but I just thought these were super adorbs. So yeah, I just these are like some really cute little hair pieces, like handmade. This is a cute little red panda. Oh, they're so cute. I mean, look how detailed they are. Okay, and then I got um, a little ghost. I thought he was the cutest. He's just so cute. And then I got another little fox. I don't know if you can see him, he's so cute, adorable, and of course I had to have Vulpix, saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, have to have it, because my favorite Pokemon is Ninetales, love Ninetales, by the way, just so y'all know. Anyway, and um, my first ever con plush, he was so cute. He was like only six dollars. I know, guys. I'm horrible. I know. It's it's just a waste of money. But to me, it's it's just, you can't do that behind you. No, no, no. I don't know what to name him yet. I might name him Boba, just because he reminds me of Boba T. I don't know yet, but yeah. What do you guys think? Just comment below, because I am just dying to name him something just adorable. But Boba seems to be a number one contender for naming right now. Anyway, moving along. And the last thing I got from day one, Friday was this really beautiful charm and it was the last one they had that was the sky blue I don't know if you can see it and it's not plastic it's like an actual stone it's really pretty and I got the free cord with it too it was really beautiful I had to have it, it was the last color of this stone that they had all right moving on day two um, I actually bought the badge this time because I really wanted to go to the rave and I wanted to participate in other things that they had going on there. So I bought the badge. I'll let y'all look at that just so y'all can see if y'all have never been to a con or plan on going to one. It's kind of what they look like. And you can, I could have put like a different nickname, but I went ahead and just put my name, Yachty. Huh? Um, and then, of course, you get this like little um, itinerary thing just like of everything that's going on it's really detailed it's really thick it's pretty much a book but I didn't really look through that too much I just kind of winged it and just did whatever but I mean it's a cool souvenir um, there is also like a mini pamphlet too in the badge um, <clears throat> with a map and everything of what was inside and then um, another thing I got after like, not long after I got the badge I really quickly went to the dealer's room because I didn't get to go there the first day and because I know that's like where all the cool shit is and the first thing I saw and I was not wearing my glasses I got this awesome necklace oh, turn around. it's so awesome of the alien queen it was the last one she said that she had and I was like, oh my god, meant to be. So I had lucked out two times in a row with these necklaces. That charm and this. So, once again, freaking cool. Yeah, so appropriate. It's, it's, you know, matriarch here. And then, show y'all something else. I also got issues 
one. Wait, is this the first? Oh, sorry, I'm mistaken. Issues one and two of The Amazing World of Gumball. It's so awesome and cute. Oh my gosh. And then I got the second one. And they were both signed by the cover artist. I think her name is Missy Pena, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, but so they are both already signed. I thought that was super cool. And of course, um, I got just a couple random things. Me and Dallas Fangirl are besties, and we love getting boba together all the time. If you're not familiar with any boba tea, I've been recently introduced to it because of her. Um, but of course, I'm pretty sure she's going to introduce me to many more things in the future. And I'm probably going to be broke because of it, so it's all your fault. Once again, all your fault. But yeah, so these really cute, like, handmade little boba, um, boba keychains, or start, um, how do you call them, cell phone charms. But yeah, this one just says, suck my balls. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really freaking cute. <laughs> and then there's another one of boba tea, but it's a parody of Dragon Ball Z. It's so cute, and I don't know if you can see it, but the little dragon balls inside. Oh my gosh! So, <laughs> and then of course the third one, because they had a special, it was three for five dollars, and I got this little guy. He just thinks, I thought he was just so freaking cool. He's just like, wiggy woo. Anyway. <laughs> and then, um, another thing I got was, um, uh, this really cool, like, zip up, um, little pouch or whatever the hell it is. It's of Akami. I didn't even know that. It was his name until I learned it. I'm not really, haven't really been catching up with my anime stuff, but now apparently I have to because there's just so much cool shit to buy and get into. And I'm just like, oh my god, I've just been missing out this whole time. But he's so cute and detailed. Oh my god, and it's like it opens up and it's got even another pouch inside. So yeah, this was just like one of my favorite things that I've gotten so far at Anime Fest. <clears throat> and then along at that same booth. I kind of just overdid it and got all these buttons. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself, but I got all these buttons. I got this guy, I got Ren. I don't know if you can see him. He's just so adorable. Okay, and then I got Carrara. He's so cute. No, you will notice a similarity in my tastes, by the way, if you haven't caught on by now. And then Chibiturasu. Yay! so sassy and then of course I got all I, I just saw this whole row from Wolf's Reign and I was like I'll take all of them so yeah I'll just really quickly go through it really quick yeah so freaking awesome got all these that one that one too many too many unnecessary things but I had to have them and plus I mean as you can see ooh, I like wolves and I don't know if I've shown you my um, comforter on my bed I might in just a second but it's all wolves which I love wolves and this too freaking cool so yeah um, that was one of the last things I got um, and then one more thing this is like one of the very last things that I got, like literally like one of the last things I grabbed before I walked out was this beautiful piece of art. I saw it and they, like, the vendors were already closing downstairs and I was like, oh my gosh, please tell me you have one of these left. And they did. Oh my gosh, it was beautiful. Like, I don't know if you can see that. I'll go up really slowly for you. It's so detailed, and I don't know if you can tell, but that's like his tail going like around and around and around behind him. It's just so beautiful. I thought it was so cool too, and it, like just dark and oh my god. thought that was great. That was like one of my favorite buys of these past two days at Anime Fest. Oh my gosh. And then of course, last thing I'm about to show you is pretty much what this video is about. Um, our prize giveaway, our next prize giveaway, which is this awesome piece of artwork. I caught it right away because once again, I have a very keen eye for this type of stuff. It is this um, creation by uh, Halo Soma. I met up with her 
this day that day and she was just totally cool and she even gave me the backstory about this piece of artwork but it is of the alien queen Let's see if you can see it it's freaking cool dude it's so cute and she's even yeah it's just so cute it almost looks like she's holding newt's doll but it's just freaking wicked I don't know if you can see that and it's even got um a reprint of her signature but for me she actually um, signed it on top of her signature because I was like, oh, just don't sign it on the alien. She's like, oh, how about I sign it on top of my uh, printed signature already on there. So if you can see that black ink, that's actually her her signature on top of the signature that was printed on there. So yeah, that, that, that was really funny. So yeah, this is um, what you can enter to win for this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and like because it's super awesome. And don't forget to comment below alien. And any way you want, you can just make it fun, and just make it your own, and then I will randomly um, draw a winner um, at the end of the month. So, all right. So, super cool. And what else, what else? Yeah, the rave was really cool. Um, I know they make, try to make it kid appropriate, but at the same time, it's kind of like an oxymoron because, you know, raves are not really meant for kids, but it's whatever, it's not, you know, really my decision. So, but A-Fest was totally awesome. If you guys are really wanting to go to one in the future, um, if you're local in the area, near Texas anywhere anyway, um, this guy was like passing around these like little, um, like uh, car note cards or whatever, or flyers, and it's for the Anime North Texas. I'll show you this really quick and up close. And I believe it's going to be at the Radisson Hotel in Fort Worth, Texas, Falso Creek. And it's going to be November 14th through the 16th this year. So I'll show you what that is. In case y'all are interested in doing your ever first cosplay or just seeing what the buzz is all about, I'm definitely going to keep doing this now because I'm super addicted. Um, and then, oh yeah, I didn't even bring up what I dressed up as. Um, I cosplayed for the first time ever as uh, Leela from Futurama. Yes, I know it's kind of simple, but I really wanted to keep it that way just to break the ice because I've never done it before. And yeah, it was kind of a last minute decision too as to deciding to cosplay. So yeah, I am, and I will make sure to include some pictures of that really quick after the video. So I really hope you guys um, enjoyed the info on A-Fest. I really hope that um, y'all will enter to win because I want to see somebody win this awesome, super duper cool prize. And once again, because I take so much pride and joy in this freaking cool ass piece of art. It's so cool. So yeah, just make sure to subscribe, like, and comment aliens below on this video. And if you want to see some more artwork from Halo, um, this is their website. If you can see, I'm pulling it up on my phone just because um, I didn't have enough time to really organize this very well. But show enough at hotmail.com. So really cool. I don't know. Maybe you can even scan this from here. I'm not sure you can do that or not. But yeah. So and thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.